Okay, so now we are in very interesting part of our CCN exam blueprint. Uh, actually, this is something which is uh, we will do a lot of configuration in this part. Our section today, which we are covering, is uh, is a network access. So in the network access, this is uh, this have twenty percent of exam, but there is a lot of configuration which we will do, and we will uh, in exam it's a twenty percent, but in real times uh, in in the practical life. Maybe you will say that this is around about 60% or maybe 70%. Uh, your day-to-day -day activities mostly fall in this category because this is cover the, the, the switching part of, uh, of the real life of, uh, of the exam. So in the switching parts, you have a lot of things. You have, uh, uh, we will see now that how, how we will configure the different technologies. First, we will try to explain in the, in the blueprint. We have here the configure and verify the VLANs. Okay, so before uh, we explain the VLAN, what is actually, what, what, what's the VLAN is? Uh, in the start, uh, we have, for example, we take example that we have a one switch. Okay, so in this switch, we have different ports. And uh, all these ports belong to a single VLAN, a single broadcast domain. So if any device is, any node is connected to one port, once it sends the packet as a broadcast, all the other ports in the same VLAN, in the default VLAN, it will listen this packet. So VLAN means everything in the single single uh, sorry switch have a single broadcast domain. So this is this create noise in the in the in the network. So what's the solution to uh, to overcome this issue? We have other approach that either we can go with another switch, and we will create here a layer three link. Okay. So once we have the layer three link, this broadcast domain will be broken. It will be no broadcast domain. So if any PC have this one here, it will stay only in that switch. But in the in the real time or in the practical life, this is not possible because you cannot afford a separate switch for each, each different uh, sector where you want to broad, uh, uh, where you want to break this uh, broadcast domain. So what's the, what's the uh, solution for this problem? The solution for this problem is VLAN. Okay, so in the VLAN, what we are doing, VLAN is actually virtual local area network. We are distributing, we are dividing this uh, uh, switch, okay, into multiple VLANs, into multiple uh, logical switches. So, for example, if this PC is connected here, okay and this is in vlan so for example 10 which is the vlan id so it will not go to the old other one it will go only to which have the for example this port is in vlan 10 and this port is also vlan 10 so the broadcast in this vlan in this port from this device it will only listen this port okay it will not go to the other one if we have here also so it will go here. So in this scenario, we can take the advantage of the VLAN technology and we can virtually divide the switch into a multiple uh, logical local area network. So it will give us the solution to, to limit the broadcast domain in a switch to specific port. So this is the this is the concept of the VLAN. But now if we discuss in the in the as per the blueprint, we have here uh, different things. We have uh, the VLAN, which we as we explain that, uh, okay. Spanning tree mode we will explain later once we reach to the spanning tree uh, 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 topic, okay. In the VLAN we have different type of the VLAN. We have two uh, different type. One is the data, and one is the voice VLAN. So data is used as as is per name. Per name it's used for data, and voice is used. For example, you have one switch here, okay, and that switch uh, one cable it's going to your PC and uh, sorry to your ip phone okay and from ip phone you have one uh, another pc so this is single port single cable which is connected to ip phone and from ip phone another port because ip phone have two different ports so one port is connected to switch this cable is connected here okay and from the pc this cable is going to here so this port is configured as a, as a, as a network port to, which is connected to the switch so now this cable this port this port in the switch have uh, required two VLAN. One is dedicated for IP phone, and one is dedicated for data. So over the same port, over the same access port, we can take traffic for two different VLANs. One is the IP phone, which is called voice VLANs, okay, 
and the other one is the data which is required for the PC. So this is the requirement for the access port. So access port normally can take the traffic for only one VLAN. But in this scenario, if we configure this one, we can take the traffic for multiple uh, VLANs, voice, uh, multiple VLANs in sense of voice and data. So means we can take in the access port same cable, same points can carry traffic for two different VLANs. There's the default VLANs. What is the default VLANs? Default VLAN is that that once uh, once you have a switch, so switch is coming by default in a one VLAN. So all the ports in this one without any configuration it's coming with the vlan 1 now you need to define another vlan vlan 2 vlan 3 up to 4096 you have the multiple option you can go with that option and you can define a vlan and configure that vlan to to the switch to the to the port so by default a switch is coming uh, with single vlan which is called vlan 1 and this is the default vlan we will see in the configuration okay now let's let's jump to our lab our practical experience uh, our practical lab and we will see that how we can deploy this uh, all these things in our real time uh, scenario this part of the exam blueprint how it's possible to convert this uh, knowledge to uh, to a practical lab as you see that we have a lab in this one there's a one company which have uh, as a technological company have 70 employees three different departments now we need to uh, break down this uh, uh, blueprint that what what type of the practical things we can take from there and we can deploy in the company so we learn about the vlan first of all here if you see in the in the workshop agenda that 70 employees working in a binders have three different department first uh, the, the the one department it department have five employees okay and uh, finance and the uh, let me change the color finance and marketing department have 40 employee hr and admin department have 35 employees so these is these are the three different departments and the distribution of the number of employees as per departments now what we need to do we need to create a separate vlan for each department why this is required because as we understand that in the vlan actually it it limit the broadcast domain okay so this is vlan 10 and this is vlan 20 so no communication by default from vlan 10 to 20 as a layer 2 level it's required layer 3 there's no option that its traffic can reach to layer 2 to layer 2 in the in the different vlans it's required layer 3 connectivity so once we have the uh, this option that no intra traffic department allowed between the department so we can take the leverage we can take the benefit of the vlan and we can apply access list we can control uh, traffic on the layer 3 level and this will help us uh, to to limit the broadcast and to apply the policies as per our requirement now as 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 we see that we we create uh, different VLANs and uh, the first VLAN which is for the IT department is VLAN 31 this is the VLAN ID the second department is fi finance and marketing have the VLAN ID is 32 and the third one is HR department which is VLAN ID 33 the fourth one we will discuss later but as, as a documentation I created just here it's a management it's not belong to any department it's actually belong to to the management uh, to manage the network so this VLAN is dedicated for the management and pure, uh, purely we will use only for the IT purpose, especially for the to cover the to uh, manage the network devices. So let's jump to the to the lab and uh, we will simulate now the switches. We log into the access switch 01, open it, and uh, once we access the switch, it's have no configuration. It's a default configuration. We need to configure the host name first why we need to configure the host name that once we are working in the lab we need to know that okay this switch is uh, what, what is the what is the name of the switch so we can we can uh, differentiate that once we are working with different switches it will give us okay this is the this is the uh, switch one and this is belong to campus or what is the uh, function of this switch so there's a there's a nice naming convention coming once you are in the real time uh, you need to define a proper naming convention and the naming conventions it's depend totally upon you but there are some rules and regulations which people mostly the, the it's as, as per good design you can do this one for example you have uh, you have company your company name is bind bind us so you can take first three words of your company after then you can take uh, the role of the device this is la like now in the, in the campus this is all campus area network okay so you can here take as campus 
CAM, sorry, for drawing. Okay, campus, and after that, you can make it like uh, the, the name of the device, okay, or you can take the, the role of the device. If, we, if you want to take the role of the device, this is access, so you can make access, A double C, and after then dash, and then switch zero one. So this is the proper and beautiful naming convention. You can use this one here. So for example, once you go to the uh, to the other device, like for example, you want to uh, configure the naming convention for the for this switch. It will be for this switch. It will be bind, which is the first three uh, words of uh, alphabet of your company. After then, it's uh, now this is server zone. So it will be. Uh, but server zone where it's located that's in DC you will go to DC data center then you can go to the server zone okay so uh, in the DC what is the what is the uh, function of this device this is distribution and after then it's a switch zero one so you see now that it's a proper have proper naming convention and from this naming convention you can immediately uh, you can identify your device that where it's located what's the function of the device uh, what is the number of the device each and everything this is not a hard coded you can design naming convention as per your uh, requirement as per your flexibility but in this lab we will go with this naming convention okay so let's jump again to the device and configure the name as we draw this one we will go post name Postname is the command to configure the name. Okay, we, will, we are in the config mode and we need to configure the host name. Oh, sorry. Mine dash campus dash axis dash switch zero one. So this is now the name. It's a little bit longer, but you can define as per your requirements. Okay. So this is the name of the of the our switch which we configure here. Bind is to present to our company name. Campus is uh, is the building or the or the department or the zone. Okay. Access is the is the function of the device, the role of the device, and switch is the is the is the nature of the device. That what type of the device? It's type of device switch or its router. And zero one is belong to zero one, zero two, zero three like this one. Okay. We have now naming. So next step is to configure the, the VLAN. Okay, we need to configure the VLAN as per our department. So if you see that, we have the VLAN ID is 31. To see the command, to check the command for the VLANs, okay, you need to do this one, show in the, Enable mode here you will see that it's it's not coming with the by default with the it's coming with VLAN one okay and there's a default VLAN but it's not have any VLAN configuration here so what we need to do we need to configure the VLAN as per our requirement we have three different VLANs so we will go to config mode we will type the command VLAN and after then we will give it the VLAN ID VLAN ID is this one which we mentioned here so uh, remember that always the VLAN ID is belong to it's, it's a layer two functionality. It's a layer two feature. So there's a difference between VLAN ID and there's a difference between the IP addressing or the subnet mask which you are assigning to. This is at the layer three level. Okay, this is on the layer two. VLAN ID is layer two. So we will configure the VLAN which is uh, first for IT department, and that is VLAN. Uh, 31 okay after then we have the name the, now the name of the the vlan is depend upon it's optional you can configure the name so it's a better option that you configure so once you type show vlan command you will recognize that okay this vlan belong to it this vlan belong vlan belong to finance marketing or any other department so the name of this vlan is it uh now if you go to V show VLAN you will see that let me you will see that IT is configured but still no port is associated to that VLAN its VLAN is there it's showing there but still there's no ports assigned to this VLAN okay so let's finish our VLAN first and then we will assign ports that how we can go to the v uh, interface level and we can assign the ports 
second is vlan 32 and the name is finance and marketing okay exit i just summarize these names so you can do with as per your requirement as per your flexibility third one is vlan 33 which is the name of uh, that one is hr and admin exit we go to vlan 51 name is mgt so we configure the vlans as per our document as per our design we have four different vlans three is for data for different departments and the fourth one is 51 is the management but as you see that there is no vlan associated to any uh, interface so we can now go to the switch we are in the switch 01 okay and we will see that okay which port is belong to it vlan which port is belong to finance which port is belong to hr so we will go to each port level and we will configure this one into into the switch we'll go to config the interface ethernet zero by three okay so this is the ethernet port zero by three which is connected to our it department okay so we are now in that level we are in the interface level at the interface level okay here we can configure here we can change the uh, vlan by default it's in vlan one but we will go now to this one and we will see a switch port that to change the vlan to assign the interface to a vlan you need to go to the interface switch port access vlan now the the id of the vlan here's this is for it so it have 30 vlan id here we will go with 31 okay so this is now configured let me back show vlan if we see now 0 by 3 is no more in vlan 1 is associated to vlan 31 so now our switch access 0 1 have 0 by 3 in vlan 31 which is belong to it department so we will do for the remaining ports ethernet 0 by 1 is belong to switch port access vlan uh, 32 we'll go to 0 by 2 switch port access vlan 33 so now this is three vlans configured here and uh, three interface associated to each vlan okay so this is in our exam blueprint we cover this part now we configure a vlan and we associate with this uh, interface to to the related vlans but all these vlans is is, is data vlans still i not configure the voice part so let's configure the voice it will be in the later but uh, to just cover the exam blueprint what i will do i will now work on this one the voice vlan okay so how we can configure the same interface the same access port as data and voice we will go for example to our lab and we consider that okay here in our exam for example we have another port okay which is zero by let me cover this one change the color okay i uh, will change also okay so this in this switch we have another port which is zero by zero by let me see what's the which port is empty okay so we have uh, one by we take one by two yes we can take one by two so this port we will take as example here we have ethernet one by uh, one by two okay and this considered connected to an ip phone okay and from ip phone it's connected to a pc which belong to it 
but it can be any department any uh, any vlan any data vlan okay so this is now our scenario and uh, we need to cover the exam part uh, CCNA blueprint access port with data and the voice VLAN. So we will go to switch. We'll go to config T interface Ethernet one by two. Okay, so we are now in this port and we need to configure this IP phone and we need to configure the PC. If we see that our PC is an IT department, so uh, VLAN for that one is 31. And the IP phone is a voice device, voice uh, in a voice VLAN, so it should be like we consider that 41 is our voice VLAN. Okay, so switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 31. So this command switch port access VLAN 31, this is belong to data. Once we, we, we can configure any 31, 32, whatever the VLAN we, we need to do as a data. So this will bring uh, uh, this will bring association to the data VLAN. Okay. Next command to the voice switch port voice VLAN 41. 41 is the ID of the voice VLAN. So we will configure here 41. So you see that there's uh, two different commands. One is uh, one is the 31. Okay, this part switch port access VLAN 31. This is data. Okay, switch port voice VLAN. Once you have the voice, this is called voice. Voice VLAN. So same access ports can carry data for two different uh, VLANs, which is one is voice and one is for data. We'll enter. Sorry, we'll enter this one. Okay, you see also one more thing here uh, that VLAN, voice VLAN does not exist because we not have configured VLAN 41. But once we go to the interface level and if the VLAN is not exist, it will create and you enter the, the command, it will automatically create the VLAN. So once you now go to the show interface, uh, sorry, show VLAN, you will see that 41 is created first of all and it's one by two is associated to 41 okay and one by two is also associated to it department as you see here so it's one by two single interface is assigned is have assigned to two different vlans 31 is our data vlan and 41 is our voice vlan okay if you see the configuration for that interface Ethernet one by two. You see that forty one is a uh, thirty one is data and forty one is voice and still this mode is uh, for this uh, interface is access. If you go to any other port, like uh, we can go to zero by three, it's in switch port access VLAN thirty one. I think you not configure the mode access so let's configure the mode also for this uh, to define the mode of this ports so i will go as a range range command what it's do did you once you have the multiple vlans uh, multiple interfaces you so you can go with the range command and after then you can type the number so my vlans uh, number start zero by one two three i need to configure these three interfaces so i will type interface range Ethernet 0 by 1 till uh, 0 by 1, 2, and 3. Okay. So now if I type anything, it will apply to all these three interfaces. I type switch mode, switch port mode access, and I type no shut. So once I see now, show running interface Ethernet 0 by 1, it's have access 0 by 2. Let's have access. So this this command apply to all the all the interface which was uh, part of this range command. 